If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. Drop a like on the video right now or you'll sell the clip. Man, I wouldn't risk it. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR, y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have the best NBA 2K21 jump shot for y'all boys. Look at these clips. You guys see me going absolutely crazy. Fumble cancel dribble tutorial coming soon. If y'all boys wanna dribble like a goat, make sure y'all boys check out my whole entire dribble tutorial playlist. Link to that will be in the description down below and I'm gonna be bringing way more bangers as well. So make sure y'all boys drop a like. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Make sure y'all boys sub up. If you're new, join the culture, join the ISO gang, man. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support. We gonna be going absolutely crazy. Doesn't matter if this video gets 100 views, 1,000 views, 10K views. It doesn't matter, the grind don't stop, man. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support. And I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So the first game I wanted to share with you guys, we were just chilling in the park and an SS1 playmaking shot career pulls up. They're running a pure stretch and then a glass honey lock. So they're running two bigs. And then on my team, I'm running with my homie Silky. He's running on his perimeter lockdown. My homie Conan, who's on his ISO deep range shot crater. And then I'm also on my playmaking shot crater as well. So you guys already know the vibes. The homie Conan has like five different builds, but whenever he's on his guard, we just take turns isoing each play. I'm telling you guys, this lineup is so deadly. Now, I did want to give a shout out to these dudes on the other team. I'm not sure which one it was, but after this game was over with, one of these dudes sent us a party invite and Conan, being a little troll that he is, he joined the party invite thinking that they were gonna be like trying to cuss him out or whatever because they lost. But um, I don't usually join invites from people just because you guys know how weird this community is. People will like try to get you in their party and then they'll try to, you know, boot you offline by getting your IP address. So I never joined people's parties where they invite me however um we actually did join this dude and he was just super cool he was just saying you know ggs we thought y'all was gonna be sweet but uh y'all are raw and he was just saying he's not gonna play us again but he was just saying ggs and he was just super cool and it's just nice to run into people who aren't toxic because you guys like i said already know how this community is it's super toxic most people they take an L, they're cussing, they're screaming, making excuses, whatever the case may be. And honestly, that's how the this is how the two two gay community should be. We should try to be a better community, come together and just not be as toxic. Anyway, that's just my opinion. But these these guys done messed up. Like don't ever pull up on me running two bigs because if we're running two ISO guards, that big's gonna have to play defense and they gonna be way too slow. And whenever somebody so is guarding me, especially that tight, you guys already know the vibes. I'm just gonna go right by him. Now you guys are gonna see Conan go absolutely crazy. His jump shot was super far in this game as well. He was straight sparking up threes just like myself. But with this lineup, like I said, it's also on offense, just a little bit hard on defense. You guys see this dude already gave up. The score is seven to 17 the only issue with this lineup is defense and you guys are gonna see right here like how can you guard me i'm over here spinning in so many different ways like i'm spinning around and i don't even know which way i'm spinning so how you how you fixing to guard that but yeah man i get a dunk off the spin but like i said with this lineup it's just hard to guard pick and roll like if i lose to another iso team then it is what it is but anytime i lose it's just the people 
spamming screens and with this lineup it's just a little bit hard to switch on the screens because then the big dude always has an advantage but yeah man that was game one that i wanted to share with you guys we went absolutely crazy and again ja again ggs to those boys so here's game two that I wanted to share with you guys. An SS1 Paint Beast pulls up with a two-way sharp and a well-rounded guard. So they're running three lockdowns. I'm pretty sure the dude in the middle is the red and green pot chart. You guys can let me know. And the two-way sharp, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that would be an extremely dope build because after patch three, all you guys need is an AD ball handle to be able to unlock the pro drill moves. So if next gen wasn't coming out within within the next month, I probably would make a two-way sharp just to see if I could ISO with that build. Plus you'd have Hall of Fame defense. I feel like that build would be extremely OP if used in the right hands. Let me know what you guys think. And then also I want to try out the new BP build as well. So that's two builds that I think would be dope to ISO on. But in my opinion, I feel like my playmaking shot crater overall is the best ISO build on the game, especially the way that I made him. Most people did not upgrade their finishing. With my build, I get six um, finishing badges and I feel like they help out a lot. Like I get a lot of like low contest contact dunks and i don't know man this build just goes absolutely crazy so you guys are gonna see the fumble cancel into the half spin into the behind the back into the dunk i absolutely love doing that move and like i said fumble cancel tutorial is gonna be my next dribble tutorial video so if y'all boys are trying to you know learn to dribble like a goat make sure y'all boys drop a like and drop a sub so yeah man you guys are gonna see it's conan's turn and he's gonna go crazy as well hits him with the spin back into the three that was an absolute absolute kill as well so i'm not gonna lie i was trying to i was trying to get a decent little clip right here but unfortunately uh so i go into the fumble cancel into the haspin into the double cross steph curry cancel shoot and then it's a brick and unfortunately they get a wide open layup but it's all good the score is 8 to 14 so you know it's not like i was really that worried anyway so now Connor's gonna get the ball and he's gonna go for the easy bucket as well so yeah man next gen i can't wait like i'm gonna keep grinding this game through the rest of the month but next gen is when the real grind actually starts next gen i'll be trying to grind rep and get as high in the rep as i possibly can this year i'm just playing you know this game every other day you guys see the absolutely that the kill into the green light and then we're going to get a steal on the inbounds and conan's going to end it with another three as well so yeah man ggs to those boys so yeah man here goes a jump shot for y'all boys i'm rocking base dwayne wade release one release 98 release two release 98 as well put the release speed at 75 percent and you don't have to blend it because it's the same release the reason why i like this jump shot is in my opinion dwayne wade base is the best base in the game but a lot of people also use jump release 98 as well or jump shot 98 so i just put the two together and it's just made for an extremely far jump shot so in my next jump shot video i'm going to be using a subscriber's jump shot so make sure you guys comment down below a fire jump shot i'll use it if it's good i'll make a video and give you a shout out in my next jump shot video thank y'all boys so much for the support man drop like drop a sub i'm out peace